Hey Sagittarius, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, we're going to use the tea leaf cards again today. So we'll see what messages Spirit in the Universe has for you guys. Maybe some guidance here. I have a whale. Great worry over nothing. It's like there's something going on in your life and you're worried about the outcome of it. Oh, I have mice. Discord among family or friends. This might speak to some, some conflict going on around you. Maybe feeling like you're stuck in the middle of this or like you're having to choose sides. I have July as well. Interesting. So there's July. Something is happening in July. This might be somebody's birthday. Um, maybe it was the cause of whatever this fight is. Uh, something happened in July. I have Archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Interesting. I feel like this ties into this whale and the great worry over nothing because I feel like something better is coming. I also have Tortoise. Slowly but surely getting ahead. So definitely uh, something that you're doing in life, uh, you are definitely on a path to success there. There is new opportunities opening up. And remember this read might be for you or it might be for somebody in your life. Uh, but you're the one watching, so you're the one getting the message here. I also have bouquet compliments from an admirer. Interesting. I wonder what this is all about. And camel. Mm, persevere and you will overcome problems. So I'm feeling like this ties into this great worry over nothing. It ties into this tortoise card and slowly moving towards success. Just encouragement from the universe, from tarot to keep persevering and moving on. I also have dragon. Beware of self-delusion. You know what? I feel like somehow in some way this might tie into this mouse situation or the mice situation. Everybody's scrapping it out. But I feel like it also ties into doubt and not, not doubting yourself, believing in yourself here. I also have bear danger, especially in money issues. You know what? And this might tie into this, this mice issue as well. And it might be a warning to keep your nose out of whatever's going on. I do have mountain road as well. You are on the road to success. So I feel like you're headed in the right direction. Whatever this shit going on uh, with the mice is this, like I said, this might be something that you need to stay out of if you can't you don't have a diplomatic solution or some way to resolve it it might be best to just keep your nose out of it so that you just don't get involved or take on extra stress i also have wheel of fortune here so it represents fortunes changing for the better and i feel like it's definitely speaking to this archway and opportunities coming along i have the nine of swords too so this nine of swords represents feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions or thoughts so much so that you have trouble finding clarity in it, I see confusion. That's the word that comes to my mind when I look at this card. Confusion. And I feel like it's also tying in with what's going on with people scrapping it out around you. I have the Page of Cups too. Uh, this Page of Cups represents good news on the way and that of an emotional nature. I feel like it's speaking to opportunity coming your way. And the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is sometimes called the Apprentice card. He speaks of learning. You know, I feel like it's, I feel like it's tied into the mice. And it might be learning to keep your nose out of what's going on. Uh, if you're someone like uh, my grandma, she was always trying to trying to smooth things over, trying to make everybody else get along. And usually uh, when she got involved, they got a little bit worse or blew up in her face. So this might speak to a need uh, to not do that and to keep your nose out of it. And the thing about this nine of swords, I don't know if you guys can see the little, where are we? The little owl in the window there. So owls represent wisdom. Uh, and about the nine of swords, when you're feeling confused, you're feeling trapped or stuck in these emotions, uh, it also speaks of taking a step back and looking at things from a new perspective to find that wisdom and that clarity and that might be just stepping back and stepping out of the fight i also have the queen of wands she represents passion ambition and drive and i feel like it's tying into this journey towards success that you are on i have the seven of pentacles as well which represents an abundant harvest so not just the abundance of the harvest but of the groundwork that has to get put in to attain that abundant harvest and i feel like it's tying into this tortoise card and slowly but surely getting ahead and the mountain road and working towards success I also have the Emperor cards. The Emperor card is success. He is the epitome of success. So whoever this read is for, whatever this person feels represents success in their life, that's what this Emperor card represents. And having him show up in this read is saying that that is something that this person can attain. I have the Two of Pentacles, which represents balance. I can speak to juggling as well. I feel like it's tying into both of these aspects of this person's life. So working towards a success, but then also dealing uh, with interpersonal BS and whatever is going on with these mice scrapping it out all around them. I do have the Devil card here. This Devil card speaks of a destructive force in someone's life. I feel like it's definitely tied into mice. 
and I get the impression that it actually is tied into a person and one person who is causing all of these issues and that might be why this person who this read is for needs to step back um, and not get involved because I feel like this devil card this person uh, is just looking to stir up shit for whatever reason um, and it's probably best to just avoid them and keep your nose out of it. Alright guys, that is what the card said to me today. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I do love hearing from you guys. And remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I'll throw your name in the pot, guys. Alrighty, have a good rest of your day. Take care.